start my recording because I always forget to for the VOD channel. And uh, I'm just going to play. But I don't expect this to be a super um, attention intensive game, so. <laughs> Should still be able to read chat. This is Stasis. Let me know if the audio gets dinked up. It is not yet time to rest. Review. Although you have agreed to my um, you do. offer, exactly. there are still some matters to take care of before you f your first assignment. I'm not that educated on Half-Life, so my impressions will be mid. Let's see, we got a snark, a bull, squid, a vortigaunt. Yeah. Throw down my squirrel card. I have played a few hours of Inscription. I'm not an expert on it, but I know how the game plays. Since there is nothing in its way, the bull squid will hit me and deal one damage. <laughs> That's an interesting uh, health system. Oh man. There's something else in this game I'm hoping I get to see later. It probably depends how far I get. Ignore this. Thanks. Who's a risk taker? I didn't really think about that. I know that uh, I took from the higher summon. And I don't... Fuck, I shouldn't have done that. I don't need an alien grunt. Alright. That <laughs> eh, might be okay. Exactly. <laughs> Corsair gang. You know it. You know what's crazy? The first time I played Half-Life Alex, I played it with the developer commentary on. Because Valve just has like the best dev commentary system where there's the there are these bubbles that you can just click on while you're playing their games. And it made me wonder why more games, more single player games don't do that. I would, I would like to play, like, Prey or something, with speech bubbles everywhere. It's also just pretty interesting. Okay. This is surprisingly detailed for... <laughs> for a little indie game. Can I walk around? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen the back of G-Man's head. It's really square. It looks, it looks like a fucking wine cork. <laughs> oh. Can't really interact with much else. Alright, let's game. I mean, I have a Corsair, Corsair headset. I didn't... I wasn't selective about it. I just needed um, a built-in headset. The strange chum toad can be used as a host. Chum toad? It's not a real Half-Life thing, is it? <laughs> it probably is. I don't know, I didn't fucking play episode 2. I did play it, but I played it on a mod that let me play as the TF2 spy, funnily enough. So I didn't quite get the vanilla experience. A snark in a jar. I'm totally losing the voice. Break it to add a snark to your hand. The barnacle can drag one of my cards to your side. I don't have a Steam Deck. <laughs> I look like I leave the house. 
I'm so glad I picked up the Dr. Kleiner. <laughs> it's basically just a, a snark card. It's just another squirrel to uh, sacrifice. But whatever. I don't know what, like, the brain means. You don't have enough scrap. Mm. Maybe that's the summon requirements? Yeah. Oh, it could be a sacrifice. You're right. I'm trying to relate it to inscription terms, but I'm not totally in the know, you know? Uh, they're throwing down a fast head crab. Wait, then what's the scrap referring to? It doesn't require a host. Scrap is bone. Oh, okay. I see. I'm probably overplaying here, but... You gotta be safe on these first matches. <laughs> You gotta keep in mind, this game doesn't have a save function, so I gotta be real cautious here. I said crab. Ah, I mean, I could tank a hit, but would be the point. Wait, three scrap. I could throw Kleiner down. But I mean, I'm already like, what, two hits from winning? I'm pretty sure I could just play it through. Yeah. For this side of you. Another victory. Ding do. And ding do. I like that they uh how G Man talks like he's from Banjo Kazooie. Ant Lion Grub. And I didn't. Oh. I didn't actually really know about the save TF2 thing until, like, the day of where I saw it trending. And it made me happy. I feel like that kind of thing a few years ago, I might have been a bit more jaded about it, but I have enough emotional distance uh, that it, it... I don't know. I feel like the TF2 team tweeting out was a fair first step. Like, they're not going to fucking fix the problem in one day. I feel like them reacting to it was the best case scenario. And that's what happened. Uh... Yeah. Bull squid be bull squid. Valve cycle. <laughs> yeah. So... I don't have the picture on hand, but way back I had that video where I I did the little cycle, the developer co communication loop. Uh, and I don't regret making it, but I regret having it be like white text on light red background. Every time someone sends me that photo, all I can think about is that is not well designed. <laughs> it's not poorly designed, but... That's all I think about whenever I see that freaking Valve, oh, Valve talked and three months later they go silent. Whenever that photo surfaces, that's all I think about. My mistake with graphic design. Chum Toad. What's up with the save TF2 thing? The intent was the bot problem was so unavoidable and unignorable that I mean it goes pretty far back the pitch was basically let's just get TF2 trending talk about why we love it and maybe peacefully protest that was kind of the idea it really started a bit earlier I don't know if the events are connected but I know for these last few weeks there's been a lot of dicey we got to make something happen like I know um Tyler McVicker tried to get people to email Valve, <laughs> and tr Twitter really wasn't happy about that. 
because uh, I guess the approach was a bit more aggressive. So some people started pitching more passive or even positive ideas, and I think that culminated in the save TF2. It's like, if we get mad at Valve, they're not going to do anything. Let's just try being nice. I think that's what it was. Uh, Chumto doesn't attack. I don't know what that symbol is. I'm ba I'm gauging whether it's worth summoning a Chum Toad off of my extra snark. But I'm already winning. I don't think I need it. Yet. Uh-oh. Undying symbol? I'm gonna try something. Chum Toad versus Poison Head Crab. Would the Poison Head Crab kill itself? Uh, unintentionally? I think I misunderstood what undying means. Whew. I could use my um, barnacle and drag one of them over. But again, I'm like, I'm so ahead. Is it even worth it yet? Oh, it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be. Maybe I should have done that. Actually, no, because I would have rather had the bull squid, which was already down. Never mind. I'm not thinking. I'm thinking throw Vortigaunt far left and Barnacle Bull Squid over, and that'll do four damage. Then I'm just one from winning. Two from winning after their turn. Eh, go for it. Three from winning. The math adds up. Then I just sacrifice a snark. Actually, I just win. Doesn't matter. Well. I am impressed. It's Every time I go to do G-Man's voice, I end up going into Kleiner. It's too fluid in my mind. Exactly. The head crab turns into a zombie if it kills another creature. Hmm. It evolves like a Pokemon. I mean, that's classic. That's like the that's like the winged Karibo of a deck. You gotta have one. Funk. Oh, I'll just read that. Which would I value more? I mean, I, it's up to you. It's not my decision how you give me money. If like, if you want the math of it, Prime gets me less because it's. They only give me half, but you don't spend any money, so I would say that's a better deal. Uh, but mathematically, I would get more from Patreon, but I'm not... I'm not it's in a bad birthday. position right now, so Are don't... You proud of me, Dad? Don't overthink doing anything, honestly. Uh, why did I put that down? Actually, no. I'm good. To fuck. It'll kill my, uh, card next turn. And this was a s Actually, no. I forgot. Full Squid's got three health. I'm good. It's your birthday? Fuck yeah, Simmy. Love to hear it. You doing, like, a birthday week? Or are you just making the rounds telling people <laughs> it's your birthday? That's usually how my birthdays are. Uh, 6 HP, jeez. If I can get two... I guess I could just... Uh... Wait it out. Yeah. And then... Happy birthday day. Swim. Toss in Ailey Grunt. Uh, the math's not adding up here, because that thing's gonna do two damage while I'm only doing one, which is a problem, but I can't do anything yet. I gotta pull from my big deck and hope I get a Kleiner, I think. Because I got three scrap. Kleiner's the only way I win. 
I, I, I believe you. I believe in the heart of the cards. I don't know what to do with the normal head crab. Because it needs a sacrifice, too. I mean, I could move it in front of the soldier and buy some time, I guess. Wouldn't it just be better to throw the chum toad, though? Um, so if I get a snark, I can throw a head crab down. And if the- actually, the head crab would get a kill on that soldier and then turn into a zombie. I think that's the play. If my math adds up, yeah. Pretty good. So I can't be messing around. I'm gambling on a good card. I mean, I'm gonna need one eventually, right? I might as well grab it. Not like a snark would do anything this turn. Antlion Scrub. Funk, can you release the chord progression for the Funk study song? Yeah. Uh... This is not tuned. Okay, never mind. No live demonstration. Uh, it's D-A-G-A. D-A-G-A. -A -A. <laughs> swear I used that like a day ago. Daga. I mean, if you want to get literal about it, the one that'll be in the next video isn't exactly D-A-G-A, -A, but those are the root chords. I don't know, I might throw in a seventh there, make it a little jazzy. Eh, just go. I, I, I don't know, because... Oh, there he is! Do it, Gordon! Summon me in defense mode! I don't suppose you'd reconsider. <laughs> oh, I won anyways, it didn't even matter. Is this a mod or a full game? It's a standalone game, it's not a mod. Uh, I... Depends on your definition of full. It's a short experience, but I don't think it just ends abruptly. Like, it's kind of fully playable, it seems like. Snark? I don't know what it's gonna turn into. Um... Where was Snark? So the good thing about inscription is you can hover over icons and see what they mean. This game doesn't quite do that. I guess if you know more about that game, you could intuit it. I'm gonna go for the safe route here and get an alien grunt set up. What the fuck is that? Nihilanth? Looks like an SCP. Might as well get rid of their summon. Oh my god, that thing hits fucking hard. Oh my god, I should have put the grunt there. I didn't read the numbers. Oh fuck. This is not good. This is really not good. Uh... I guess it is a boss. Shit. I mean, I can't let that thing hit me again, so I'm just gonna stall out till they start talk, uh, attacking. Tanking. Well, that's GG. I- <laughs> I could risk the biscuit on a Kleiner. Is there any, um... What are the odds here? 
Chat, give me a one or a two. I won't tell you which means which. Just give me a one or a two. It's going to affect my decision. Okay, okay, okay. So, for the record, uh, this is two, this is one. But I think I know what people want. You did it! You believed in the heart! I don't suppose you'd reconsider. This isn't even gonna fucking do anything. That was a whack. That was the same as getting a snark. <laughs> okay, and now it's GG. Yeah, it's, it's over. What what do I do against that? If I had put Alien Grunt here, I probably would have been alright. What it is. Oh cool, I did one damage to the Nylon. The boss. Phew. Your first loss. The table is... Gentlemen? <laughs> I... Okay, let's see best spy impression I can do. Oh, gentlemen. Now I am the boss. <laughs> Let me make this clear. <laughs> if you lose two times in a row, I will kill you. <laughs> when this watch is closed, losing means death. <laughs> but if it is open, you will survive. <clears throat> Shall we? Getting a little Sean Connery there. <laughs> it's a little, like, Gordon Tiki statue. Am I on Hightower? <laughs> Old Geezer. My favorite poster in Team Fortress 2. I think I see, like, a little baby head crab there. You guys remember that MatPat video? Where he proved that the pyro was a girl by <laughs> measuring the fingers of a latex rubber suit. I remember. Not a girl, a gay man. Oh, it's the video's like eight years old. I forgot what he said. I just remembered he like... He was trying to get the anatomy of the pyro by measuring gloves that aren't even on all the way. <laughs> Just like before, you may pick a card to add to your deck. <laughs> but these cards you scrap instead of hosts. <laughs> you get one scrap every time one of your cards die. <laughs> the sentry upgrades its damage after a round on the board. <clears throat> the tiny little mini sentry is cheap quick damage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now we're playing my kind of poker here. All right. What would Uncle Dane want me to do? Um. <laughs> Why are the cards still? <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have any scrap yet. I <laughs> love the health bar. Just throwing a classic snark down. Uh fuck. Play ball. It's a bit of a sacrifice, but I need the snark to make it to the next round. <laughs> okay. Uh Snarky Snark. And then a grunt. 
Who's the bigger threat here? Scout. I hope I can survive one hit. Wait, I think I have three scrap, so I could sacrifice Kleiner. Thing is, um, I kind of need Kleiner for my next uh, sacrifice. I have the scrap for it. It can't get any worse than this. Do you think when Robin Walker was working on TF2, he ever considered whether Scout would win in a match against a Vortigaunt? He doesn't have to wonder, because we have an answer now. Alright, I'm going to sacrifice a Snark, just so I can kind of get ahead here. Giddy up. Not for long. Oh, really not for long. Oh. Should have gotten that mini sentry. Will I be streaming in an hour? Yeah, I think so. Fuck, man. I mean... I don't think summon cards get to attack on their turn. No, they do. Fuck. I'm thinking I block Demo ahead because he's going to do the most. I'm only back... Uh, ac actually, no, I'm... What the fuck? This... This mofo has AoE. Well... I did not plan for that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can really only see one play happening. Yeah. Well, this was a disappointment. I agree. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have uh, skipped the explanation. Why don't I let uh, my chat pick this one? Scout, dispenser, or sniper? What is the most valuable asset in a pub? In a modern pub. <laughs> sniper? Uh, maybe if I had a medic card. Yeah, I mean, if we're going down the pyramid of power, snipers at the top of it. I can go to the briefcase, or I can get into a little scuffle. Here's something for you to play with. A jar of scrap. Break it to receive four scrap. Um. My ambassador. One of its shots could kill any card. <laughs> but don't get any funny ideas. <laughs> Not your Roddy. Why is it in a jar? Why did, why is it in that jar specifically? All right, this two dispenses and an engineer. Probably going to want to get rid of those dispensers quick. Damn, I need a demo, man. It's grab jar? What, would, what good would that do me? I'm not playing it yet. Uh, I mean, head crab. Fuck. Head crab would uh, kill engineer. The problem is engineer gets to attack first. So, I could just throw a Snark here, tank a hit. Yeah, okay. I know what I'm doing. I don't... The dispenser can attack? What? I can just... I didn't... 
think that would happen. Oh no, again? Already? Well, don't that beat all. I... Uh, if I break NG, the dispensers can't attack, right? Nope, they still can. Okay. I could... Tank a snark. Mm. But even then, I'm up three, down two. So I'm up one. I'm basically deciding whether or not I want to sacrifice zombie for an alien grunt. Because it's got six HP. But less damage. I mean... Okay. Stall. Stall. GDM. Oof. Oh, great. A pyro now, too? So I can try and pull a Kleiner. Or I can... Get a Snark and throw down an alien grunt. Intelligence, do you need... You need anything, buddy? <laughs> you need a hug? Ah, oh, man. Because, like, these scrap don't do anything for me. Take a walk and look for cards. I can't get up mid-match. I have to wait for in-game. Or in-between game. Ugh. Uh, so, if I stall... I'll take two, but be up. I mean, I'll still be up one, which could be good. It's just, it won't help long term. I don't actually know what Antlion Grub does. I'm going to find out. My leg's kicking right now. That might be it. Like, even if I pulled the Klein card... I mean, a Klein... I don't even think he can attack. So... That'd be nothing. Okay. Uh... I can't move the zombie, because that is the only thing keeping me from... ...going negative. It's gonna end anyways. Get it over with. Antlion Grub turns into an antlion if it doesn't die. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm glad I did that instead of putting it in an open spot. <laughs> I should have shot him with the ambassador. Alright. Oh, and the sentry levels up. Jeez. When, uh, so Momocon happened this week in Atlanta, which is nice because it hasn't happened in two years. I met up with my cousin and he was looking for this really specific magic pack of the Dungeons and Dragons magic cards. So we ended up sitting at a at a, like a, just a lunch table and sorting through the cards. He didn't get anything great. I think he had one card that was worth seven bucks and that was it. And he spent 30 on cards. How am I still alive? Just get it over with. Kill the NG? Eh, I don't think so. Alright.
Fine, I'll kill <laughs> I don't know what I'm fucking doing. I even if I kill the NG, the dispensers still can attack for some goddamn reason. You won. Oh no. That was your last life. Oh <laughs> red rock! the greatest game ever. Lamar. <laughs> the head crab. Tip. Try not to get shot. <laughs> wow. I have to start back at the uh, Half-Life section. I want to give it one more run. But yeah, MomoCon was this week in Atlanta, which if you don't know, is just a general weeb comic uh, dork nerd culture con. No, it was nothing crazy happened. I didn't see that many panels or anything. I did notice something was weird. So there's this one Congress Center usually Momocon's at, and they're always in the same part of it, but for some reason they were in Building B, and I didn't know why. And while I was going to get my ticket for Momocon, apparently another convention is running that has the original registration hall and, like, area. And they told me it was called ChurchCon, which felt like a pretty fitting name. Uh, apparently, the Congress Center got sniped by, like, a church <laughs> that wanted to, like, siphon off gamers and bring them closer to Christ's light or something. And you could see a lot of people walking into the wrong registration hall, and they're like, Hey, where? I'm trying to pick up my Hatsune Miku badge. And they just get handed a pamphlet about, uh, Christianity. Oh yeah, I have to go through the tutorial. I was confused. It was very confusing. The, that event. I do. But let's see, what else happened? Um... I don't know if it was at Momocon, but it, there was a tweet that went viral. Of a guy, like it's his girlfriend saying, "My, my boyfriend went to a anime con and all he got was a Donkey Kong welcome mat." And I tried to see if I could find it at MomoCon because they didn't say if it was bought at MomoCon, and I couldn't find the Donkey Kong welcome mat. Unfortunately, I tried really hard to find it. I did find Donkey Kong drinking glasses. But I was worried it would shatter in my backpack, so I just didn't buy it. So I didn't buy anything at Momocon ends up, but someone did walk up and hand me um an ener a, an energy drink made by the US military, I think. Or it's made it supports the military. They didn't make me pay for it. It almost looked like they were trying to get rid of it. All right, I didn't use the chum toad much, so I'm gonna change that strategy. They do. Am I into D&D? Yeah, I'm playing a campaign. Gotta grab my Kleiner. Uh, I don't have a crazy story. Usually I like share the weird stuff that happens in my D&D campaign. I think since my last stream, we tried to break into a mansion to steal this ivory mirror. It's a long story. So we ended up in the palace of a fey time demigod kind of figure. And he asked us to go steal a mirror back from this Richie Rich. And we got, we broke into the house. Six of our party members are like attacking butlers and breaking windows and stuff. And one of the people that work at the mansion just walks up to me and hands me the mirror and says, If I give you this, will you leave? 
So two sessions of us planning. I went to a back alley r r trader and I gave him 20 gold to get a map of the mansion so that my party could spend two sessions planning to break in. And within 30 minutes of us breaking in, they just gave me the mirror for free. Because no one in my party ever thought or even considered knocking on the door and saying, Hey, you're, do you have a mirror you're not using? Can I have it? Luckily, no one died. <laughs> gold. I didn't buy it. So the back alley is... It's kind of like an ominous figure. This dude deals with way more money than 20. But 20 gold is still a lot of money in D&D &D terms, relatively speaking. <laughs> Not realistically for buying anything, but... I'm... I'm I did a lot of planning, only for none of it to matter, is my point. Uh, two sacrifices for poison head crab. So, no. Play up the rail. Rourke. Fast zombie. I don't know what I want to do here. I could sacrifice Klein and Snark for poison head crab, but it wouldn't survive fast zombie. But greetings, it would, greetings. It would contribute. I can probably just yeah juice out the match now. Worth it. The question is, if I play well enough and don't lose, do I not have to play the TF2 se section? I wonder. Antlion evolves, but alien controller is a uh, flying. I think if I use Grub correctly, this will be the play. Oparic. Yeah, I, I know the deal with Faye, but the one we're dealing with, he's... He's cool. He, we, so... <laughs> so, I don't know a lot about Faye myself, as a player. But, this guy basically sits on a throne with this river of time or something, constantly flowing through his palace. And someone in our party kept trying to get him to host a party, a literal party with him. In the Fey God, my DM didn't explain what happened, but my party of six, maybe seven, are standing in front of this Fey, and we make a joke about having a party. This Fey bas basically snaps his fingers, and for the next 400 days, we have a, in a, like a non-dimensional party. We literally are in his palace for 400 days, partying, drinking, and then he snaps his fingers again, and we're back in the room talking to him, and none of us remember the year-long party we just had. And that's canonically something that happened, <laughs> but no one in my party remembers it. So yeah, I would say I trust this Faye. This is the most fucked, part, fucked up part of that, and I didn't even ask my DM about the details. My DM said we, it was just an extravagant ball, a big 400-day-long party. I'm a grung, and grungs which are a species of frog people in D&D, they can't get drunk. They can't get poisoned, more specifically, but being drunk is poisoning yourself. So for 400 days, I'm, I'm wondering what my character was feeling, because he couldn't get drunk, or high, or anything remotely interesting with this 400-day-long fey party. And I'll, maybe, I'm too scared to ask him. But yeah, I was. Full squid, 3 HP, Vortigaunt beats it, and doesn't die to it. So does Alien Grunt, actually. Uh, I trust that more. Foon, okay, when is Funcraft coming back? We need it. I don't know. It'll come back, but I don't know when. I still, ne I still haven't um, fulfilled the promise of trying out 
multiplayer Terraria craft, but I don't think it'll work. Don't want to try it, though. I might have told this story, but like I said, Grungs can't get drunk. And my character is increasingly curious of what it's like to be drunk. So one time when we were in a dungeon, we found like sort of a kitchen area with a bunch of kegs full of ale. And because Grungs technically breathe through their skin when they're like underwater, that's how they can breathe underwater. I, me and my DM concluded that if my Grung were to bask in a keg of ale, like just engulf himself in it for like an hour, there is some chance that he could get drunk. So I got inside a, a keg of ale, rolled like a con save, and unfortunately my RNG is just absolutely amazing. So I didn't get drunk, but I did get extremely sticky. GG. you. Reeds. Reeds. How does the game even work? Uh, D&D is an engine, and a good DM knows where when to mod it. To mod the engine. A fun DM. A good DM doesn't have to. Tentacle or head crab? Uh, I mean, the head crab's reliable. I don't know. I've... <laughs> I didn't read what the tentacle does. Technically, grungs are already sticky because they can walk on walls. But, like, it was uncomfortably sticky. I didn't taste it. Yes, surprising. Snarks are cute. I really don't have to play the snark, but... Yeah. Maybe I'll need a dual summon. In fact, I will need a dual summon. Well, no tentacle for me. I think I win. Oh yeah, also my D&D character is trying to start a business. <laughs> and I like... But he... I guess he... I didn't know how much it costs to own a house in D&D. So I like all confidently w went up to my DM mid session and I'm like, "Yeah, I need you I need you to give me some information on this uh this building I want to buy." And I'm walking around with maybe 3000 gold on me and he tells me it's worth roughly 12,000. <laughs> so I ended up taking a rain check on my real estate venture. One day though, I want to start a spicy corn cob stand. Or corn cob, uh, I don't know, fast food joint. Probably could have just put that in front of the snark, honest. Fuck, I should have done that. Ugh. I didn't realize the snark can't attack. Damn it. I mean, it's... It's gonna sacrifice the snark and move Gonark up, is the problem. I think. Depends on if NPC behavior sacrifices. Maybe not. Okay, I guess I can kind of just wait it out. <laughs> well balanced. Well, you. 
There it is. It happens no matter what. Gentlemen. <laughs> Let me make this clear. Yeah. Heard it before. <laughs> Just blew the mind of someone who joined my stream um. 30 seconds ago. <laughs> so confused. Um. I mean, a sentry is probably going to help me beat a boss down the line. A mini sentry is really just going to help me get through um. the middle ones. Ooh, already? Phew. And I still got the barnacle. I'm thinking... Snark. Throw an antlion grub. Get to it! Okay. It's safe from the demo man. For now. <laughs> Gotta build up some stuff. If I put bull squid here, it's just gonna die to the demo man. But, um, I don't know, it would save time at least. I could throw a bull squid here, let demo attack, and then put a sentry here one round later. Honestly, this damage evens out, so whatever. The reason I'm putting the sentry instead of the bull squid there is because I know the sentry will survive longer here because the demo can't attack it yet. Although, admittedly, I don't have enough scrap yet. Actually, I could just, um, slurp. Ugh. I'm thinking two, three. That'll be even. Fuck. It's so early. So early to use the barnacle. But I'm already pretty low. No, I think I get enough scrap off of this. Eat my dust! <laughs> I think it's worth it. This is called stasis, by the way. I see some people asking. <laughs> what? I thought I... Fuck, I get scrap from attacking things. Oh, I'm a moron. I thought I got scrap from attacking directly. Now I have to use the slurp. Freedom! There's no choice. Kind of overkill, honestly. <laughs> GG. Excellent. Um. <laughs> Generates one scrap per turn. I still don't get why it can attack. I guess maybe the the idea is that there's a teammate standing at the dispenser or something. <laughs> the little scout moves sideways after each turn. Um. I mean, wouldn't hurt to have another card, right? I'm gonna flip a coin to where I go. Heads up, tails down. Uh 
Yeah, I... I'm gaming. Oh, man. This, this defense right here. I could... I wonder if I could... No. Preemptively shoot the engineer before he even spawns. I want to spawn camp the engineer. So... I gotta catch him, uh, right on the fly. So, snark, replace it with a head crab. But, uh, fuck, head crab dies to engineer. Maybe I just stall for one turn, and then I can put Vortigaunt on the next one? I guess so. I mean, I guess I could do head crab too. God. I hope this plays out. So here's one HP. Throw our head crab here. Dispenser. I could put the dispenser here, but then if a demo man spawns, it's dead. But if I put a dispenser here and a demo man spawns, Oh, my brain hurts. And I don't have an engineer, so I can't ever buff my dispenser yet. But it generates scrap, right? So, could be worth it. I'm just worried about him always putting Demo in the same spot. Because it's been there like the last two. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should get rid of that dispenser. This could work. I don't think I need the ambi yet. Okay. Nope. Eh. Thanks, Yeti. Oh, I already won. Up or down? Well, going off TF2 logic, no one ever looks up. But... Down? Down will let me get to a briefcase. Albeit with a pretty far... Detour. Up will progress me. I don't know what the skull is. But I'm curious. Is that a boss? <laughs> the insane pyro's flame spread across three slots. Ooh. Chewie. What do I want to main? I feel like Demo uh, <laughs> has some stronger guns. Mark now, head crab next turn. I'm actually curious if a head crab killing a sentry will turn it into a zombie, even though that makes zero sense. It doesn't. 
Wow. They're way ahead of me. Ugh. Hey, Infernova. Uh, can't be... <laughs> Why are you counting? Don't do that. I'm glad you remembered. Um... I mean, it can't attack. It's a dispenser. So, whatever. Hmm. I mean, I could kind of use this dispenser, honestly. If I can get a demo man down in front of it, then it basically just won't die. The problem is I need three scrap for that, which would require a sacrifice. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, it would have been able to kill anyways. Doesn't even matter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I can't move headcrab, but I could... ...summon... Fuck. Alright. Risky play. Actually, I think I just win, right? I'm already, like, up so much. I'm pretty sure I just win. <laughs> just in case. Yeah. Um. You did a fine job. <laughs> Dispenser, mini sentry. I I'm not really like, I'm not building my deck around a dispenser. <laughs> so no. Uh, a medic. I'm impressed. It looks like. They made their own art for this, but I don't know. There actually are Team Fortress 2 trading cards, but they're really niche. So I don't know if they maybe found those and ripped the art. <laughs> Dunno. Burrito. Burrito. That head crab didn't kill. Oh, it has three health. Yeah. Heil us. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck. This thing. Why did I do that? Ah. All right. <laughs> it was it seemed like this the quickest strategy out of that <laughs> expensive but powerful powers up neighborhood buildings powers up neighboring creatures oh don't tempt me i know what i want to play medic uh I mean, I still have the Jar of Scrap, so it would be a good back pocket. But the Medic would work way better with my thing. Because, like, I don't... I, 
if I had gotten two dispensers, heavy would been would have been a bit more economic. <laughs> but I gotta be logical here. <laughs> You know, I only saw one TF2 cosplay at Momocon. It was a sniper. I was surprised. And I don't think I saw a single Overwatch one. I saw one. It was a Soldier 76. A lot of Genshin. A whole lot of that. A lot of Genshin and, um... Demon Hunter? Demon Slayer? A lot of that one. How do you already have a heavy... You hacker. He didn't have a piss jar. I wish. Fuck. Let's do it! Just seems logical. Here I come! Oh, ho, ho. this is actually really good for me as, as long as I can find a way to stall him. I've never cosplayed. I thought about it. If I ever did cosplay, I'd probably go with Ginkgo. I'd have to get like contacts, but I feel like I could, um, I could commit to dying my hair white. <laughs> I don't, probably not. He has a cool coat though. Ginkgo, ah. Oh. Don't burden me with culturing you. Ginkgo is from Mushishi. Great anime. Would recommend. Uh, that'll take him to 3 health. And a crab will take him to 2 health. I don't know what the poison does. But I can't actually... <sighs> can't actually play it anyway. Die! Die. I'm pretty sure this is a win condition right here. I think I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> you did a fine job, <laughs> but I'm getting tired of this. Flannery? I... what? <laughs> Au revoir! New test subject detected. No. Oh, you can't do that to me. The end. Ah. What a beautiful game. Nice. I was actually pumped. I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to fight Glados. Oh well. That was really adorable. Fantastic work to Whoever made that, which is HTML Earth, with help from these people. Really cool. What was this made in? Unity? Huh. Very nice. Yeah, that's the end of the game. So I'm gonna move on to Terraria Craft in a moment. But that was called Stasis, if it's something you'd want to play. I didn't see all of the dialogue or battles or anything. So yeah.